now the next is calculation with money so this is a, a function NPER so for example what we are going to count account here a person has to taken a loan this is one lakh rupees then interest rate that is 7.50 percent okay 7.5 this is annual and then yearly total installment Uh, yearly total installment okay how much money he is going to pay annually after 12 months so that is for example if he is going to pay 1000 per month okay so annual payment is 12000 from that person now here we are going to use function this is equal to NPR NPR is function now there are three arguments that is first one is rate third is uh, second is pmt then this is present value this is future value and type here type is zero or one depending on the payment installment is paid at the beginning of the month or at the end of the month that is zero and one type okay so first of all we are going to take rate of interest so rate of interest is here okay then semicolon okay then yearly total installment okay this is yearly total installment that is pmt okay and we have to use it with minus sign minus 12000 okay and then semicolon and then present value that is one lakh amount of loan okay and in close this bracket and press enter okay so this is the duration in which the loan will get repaid this is loan amount rate of interest and annual installment that user is going to pay okay so this loan will be repaid in 13 years 13.56 years that is almost 13 years and more than six months that is seven months okay so this way npr works so here different arguments are there for example npr is equal to npr and in bracket the first one is rate of interest then second was pmts annual installment okay for example here we have taken that person is paying 1000 per month so in 12 month he is going to pay 12000 rupees so that will become pmt value okay and then pv that is present value present value of loan is what 1 lakh rupees when this loan started that is pm uh, present value future will value will always become zero value that means after these many years this amount of loan will become zero and here uh, in this type we have to type one if installment is paid on the first date of month and zero if at the end of the month okay so here zero and one but we can skip this fp and type okay uh, because fe will be taken when we skip it fe will be taken as zero and type will be taken as one that is beginning of the month so this was npr function now next part is making decision with if okay now we are going to uh, create condition and depending on some criteria we will get different results now here for example so i am taking example of this book only so score of our giving okay here me and Frank okay, two things are there and scores are 13 and 17. Okay, let's take one example of mark sheet instead of this.
now here six students are there and their marks in percentage are for example 77 69 59 and here 44 sorry 49 44 and 30 okay now class okay now this class we are supposed to take according to some condition so condition is what okay. 70 we are taking a then greater than 60 a2 greater than 55 second class okay uh, greater than 48 hard so here if uh, here uh, percentage are greater than 70 then even grade we are going to give greater than 60 a2 greater than 55 that is second grade and uh, greater than 48 that is third grade and all else below that that is fail this condition we want to apply here okay so first of all is equal to if then the value that has to be checked okay this value is here in b70 okay for example then semicolon if it is greater than this then a1 so type that a1 here in double quotes okay then semicolon now next if okay this is first condition if b70 that is value here value here is greater than 70 okay here this is condition value stored in b70 is greater than 70 then two possibilities are there whether it is greater than 70 or not so if it is greater than 70 then we are supposed to give grade a1 else there are more possibilities not only one so again we are exp extending this if condition okay instead of writing another grade directly then again take this value that is 77 b70 comma uh, sorry uh, so again we are going to take this 77 next condition is greater than 60 okay so greater than 60 then which grade we are going to assign that is a2 then semicolon then still there are two uh, one two and three possibilities so again we are going to extend this if greater than 55 55 then semicolon and if 55 end up uh, more than 55 then second okay. then semicolon then again new if and uh, again take this value then greater than 48 greater than 48 semicolon okay third inverted comma over then semicolon now the last one is remaining so now we are not going to extend this if and we are going to use this last condition directly uh, last result directly that is fail okay that means what okay if still marks are greater than 48 then third will be given or else the last one is fail okay so the for the last condition we are not supposed to write another if okay directly we have to type the last result now count how many uh, this parenthesis 
we have opened this is one this is two this is three this is fourth so four times we have to close it one two three four and press enter now you can see this 77 is more than 70 so a1 is assigned here and now click and drag it using field handle so here now since this 69 is now this one is uh, not greater than 70 okay so it will fall under this it is greater than 60 but less than 70 so a2 is assigned here then this is 59 so it is not greater than 60 but greater than 55 so this second is given to him. then here it is greater than 48 okay but less than 55 so third is given here to this student and since these two last two are less than 48 that is 44 and 30 so fail is given to them okay